As the 2023 International Day of the Girl Child is being celebrated across the world, female pharmacists in Nasara State under the aegis of Association of Lady Pharmacists have called on stakeholders to collaborate with the association towards tackling the issues of rape in the state. Speaking at the Bethany College in a Shabu Development Area of Lafia Local Government Area on Wednesday, Chairman of the Association Pharmacist Lydia Omoniyi said so many young girls in the state had lost their self-esteem as a result of rape, hence the need for the stakeholders to take immediate action on the matter. She explained that in a bid to tackle the menace, the association will embark on awareness campaigns across the 13 local government areas of the state, expressing confidence that the effort will in no small measure educate young, female, young females on ways to avoid being raped and to speak up when such incidents occur. The female folk, you have a female folk, you have a generation. And that is why, because the generation survives if the woman is well trained and well celebrated. And that's why we're here generally to celebrate the girl child. And then we've chosen this school to be our venue. All this talk, right? We can't do it all by ourselves. There is need for collaboration. And it's a wonderful package today because we are here with the State Ministry of Health. We are here with people from the Society of Family Health who um, gender-based um, talk is their specialty. They are actually from the arm of the gender um, society. So we are here with them and those from the 360 um, plus the primary health care. And then their arm is to specially um, go to schools. So that's their heartbeat. And then today there is the International Day of the Girl Child. And then you know, when you have agendas, when you have um, development goals, you, you always find something to do for the female gender. The National Coordinator of Child Protection Network, CPN, or Lakunle Sauni, has expressed concern over what he called poor implementation of the Child Rights Act in Ogun State. Sani spoke with newsmen in Abiokuta at a session with stakeholders and students organized by the CPN in commemoration of the 2023 Girl Child Day. He lamented that sexual abuses and other challenges confronting girls are on the increase in the state despite the existence of the law protecting them. According to him, communities in the state do not believe that there are laws that are, as they take actions based on how they feel and think that the girls should be. Sani asked the government to redouble its efforts in implementing the law in order to guarantee full protection of the girl child. The state coordinator of CPN, Barista Adedamola Lakpite, blamed, blamed the poor implementation on culture and lack of the willpower to implement it. Also, the state chairman of the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, Dr. Kunle Ashimi, submitted that the poor implementation of Child Rights Act is not limited to Ogun State. Well, to be honest with you, um, Child Rights Act um, is not yet being fully implemented anywhere in this country. Otherwise, we will still have a lot of things that you know, should not be happening now with children. Children should find support anywhere they go, in school, in the hospital, on the streets, you know, in the police station and all of that. So we hope that the government will do more. And I, from what we know is that the Ministry of Women Affairs is usually the ones handling this. Yes, they are doing their bit, but it takes a lot more willpower from those in government to ensure that every girl child gets the kind of protection that they need so that their future is assured. Having a requisite willpower has been an issue. Having requisite willpower, you see that until something affects us as a people directly, we don't take it seriously. And so for a lot of things happening to the children, it happens to them and they are quiet about it. So nobody's bothered about it. But the day it affects um, someone in power or the child of someone that is in power, then you see that people would um, try to do something about it. That's the issue. The level of implementation for the child rights law in Logo State is very, very low at this time. I must say that it's very, very low. The communities do not believe that there are laws, and so they only believe that they can decide on things happening to girls 
rather than taking action in line with the law, they only take action in line with the way they feel, in line with what they think that um, the girls should be, that the girls should be subjected to whatever they decide on. And so that means that, and that is because the level of implementation is very, very poor. So we need to, the government need to come hard and make sure that this policy, this law is not just a law, but it becomes a tool that guides every action towards protecting every girl in Ogun State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.